Hi guys, how are you? Thanks for joining me again. Kevin with you here today. Today I wanted to show you an updated quick video on doing effects chains inside of Audacity. I've got another one on here that goes into a little more detail, but this will basically get you through uh, quickly and easily for Audacity 2018. So an effects chain is just basically a series of post-processing effects that make sure that your audio sounds the way you want it to, but you want to save a template so you can just do that all with one click if you're in the same room using the same microphone and you record in the same environment, which most of us probably do. So the first thing we need to do is we need to actually record some sample audio and apply those effects to create our uh, chain. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Okay, so this is just some sample audio to show our viewers how to create an effects chain in Audacity using Audacity 2018. Okay, so that's basically my audio that we're going to work with. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Effects, Bass, and Treble. And this is one I've been using. I like it a lot. I have a deep voice, and when I listen to my playback, um, it's just too bassy. So I knock about 17 dB of bass off of mine, and it sounds very, very good at that point. So I'm going to apply that. Hit Close. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to normalize. And I like to normalize my stuff up to negative 1. Okay, and then I'm going to take any potential background audio, like this looks pretty clean, but for little background noises, I'm going to do like a little selection here, and I'm going to choose Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile. I'm going to hit Command A to select all, or Control A if you are on a PC, and then go to Effect Noise Reduction, and then these are the settings I use here. You don't want to go too high, or you're going to make your, your audio is going to sound horrible. It's going to get all washed out and tinny. So you might want to copy these settings. It's a good place to start and hit OK. And now you can see that little background noise has gone away and we have a nice clean look. So now that I've done that, the next thing I want to do is I like to go back and renormalize it to minus one. So now what we can do is, now that we've done that, we can actually go ahead and create a chain. So we've already done that. So let's go ahead and close out of this. And I'm going to record a quick new one to take what we just did. Okay, so this is a little bit of sample audio for the sake of applying the effects that we just created in a new effects chain. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm just going to simply go to File, Chains, and Edit Chains. So over here you can click on Add, and I'm just going to name it Test, like that. And now here's where you can do all the things that we did. So we're going to hit Insert. Now the first thing we did was Applied Bass and Treble. So this is where you just pick from what we just did. And let me show you that you can actually come in here and hit Edit Parameters, and there's the parameters, and you can change them. So it's really cool. It remembers everything we just did. So the next thing we want to do is we Normalize. So we want to hit Normalize. And we want to make sure to move that up because we want the bass and treble to be first, normalize, and then we want to come down here and insert another one. Now the next thing we did after normalizing is we did our noise reduction. So we choose noise reduction, hit OK, and then the last thing we want to do is normalize once again. So I'm going to come back and hit normalize again, click OK, and that's it. So this is our whole chain now. You can move them up or down in any order. That's the sequence that I like to work in. So now the next time you come in, all we have to do is record some uh, raw audio and click on Test, and it'll apply all these for us. So we'll just hit OK. And this is coming back to our raw audio now. And I'm going to go File, Chains, Apply Chain, and there it is in the list. So I just click on Apply to Current Project, and boom, it does all that for us in one click. So now I can play it back. Okay, so this is a little bit of sample audio for the sake of applying the effects that we just created in a new... And now I've got all of my post-processing effects all done. So I hope that was really fun for you. Um, I hope it takes a little bit of the intimidation out of how quickly and easily you can do an effects chain so that you don't have to do all of your post-processing over and over and over again. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Happy 2018. A lot more to come this year. and. Uh, as always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.